Hi, I'm Natalie. Welcome to All Things. Today we're going to make some homemade vanilla extract. Homemade vanilla extract is the easiest thing that you are ever going to make for your kitchen. And once you make it, you're going to keep making it because it is so much better. You can buy pure vanilla, obviously. Uh, it's just a lot more expensive than imitation vanilla. But the difference in taste is just amazing. You definitely want pure vanilla instead of imitation vanilla once you've used it and you realize the difference of the two. For vanilla extract, homemade vanilla extract, all you need is vanilla beans and some cheap liquor. Um, a lot of people make their vanilla extract with vodka. Some people do use bourbon or whiskey. I have tried all three and to me, the vodka is the best one for taste for baking and things. It doesn't leave a taste of the liquor at all. Obviously the alcohol cooks out when you use your extract in something that you're baking anyway, so you don't have the concern of, you know, there being the alcohol in the food, especially if you're worried about your kids consuming alcohol or maybe you don't consume alcohol or whatever. But you don't need to spend money on a, a top dollar stuff. In fact, this that I'm gonna use today this was just the cheapest thing that they had at our, our liquor store. And then you also need some vanilla beans. You've got two grades of vanilla beans. Um, well, two grades that I know of. There might be more that I'm not thinking about, but typically two grades. You have grade A and grade B. Grade A is um, better for cooking. Grade B is better for extracts. And it has to do with the moisture content of the vanilla beans. Um, I'm not I don't know. I'm not a professional on that. I just know that's what the difference of the, the grades and the beans is. Um, these I picked up on Amazon. I don't know if can you see those? And I did look for a company um, that ethically sources them. These are from Papua New Guinea. They were a little under $9 for 10 vanilla beans. And um, I make this extract about once a year. And it's almost always seems to be in the summertime when we have used up the year before's extract um, last year i made a little extra and i'll show you that i still have a bottle left I, I just used one full bottle that i finished the other day and now i have another bottle to start using while this one's getting ready to go because it does take about the longer it sits the better it is but you're going to want it to have at least six months on the shelf before you use it so you want to make this early go ahead and make it now for your holiday baking for sure so that it's ready um, Christmas time. Thanksgiving, I guess, would even be pushing it a little bit because we're already halfway through July. But um, once you make it, you just keep it going and then you're going to have it forever. So I've got these grade B, grade B vanilla beans from Amazon. And um, then I've got this vodka. And I'm going to move the camera and just show you how we make this extract. Super, super easy. Okay, I've got my vanilla beans out of the package. I'm gonna take this sharp knife, and I've already done a couple of them just to get started. Um, and I'm just gonna cut right down the center of the bean, just enough to be able to, not all the way through to the back side, just enough to be able to peel it open, and kind of, you see how that stuff is in there, the vanilla. Drop that down in my jar. Um, I'm gonna do all of them that way so that the stuff can just come out a little easier from inside of the beans. Start flavoring our, our liquor to make our extract. Okay, got all 10 of my beans in this jar. Now we're just gonna take our cheap, cheap, cheapest you can get liquor. I really prefer, like I said before, I do really prefer the vodka just because it doesn't leave any taste at all. And I found that the one that I did with the whiskey and also with the bourbon just left a really, 
I could taste the liquor and I felt like it was a little overpowering in some of the things that I was, was baking with. No, my hands. All right, we're just going to pour this right over these beans. And we're going to put a lid on this. Let me grab a lid real quick. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna store this in a cool, dark place. And we're just going to, about once a week, I keep mine in my pantry so that I'm always kind of remembering it and seeing it. Um, one by once a week or so, we're just going to shake it. Just going to shake it a little bit. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just a little bit of a shake. And the longer it sits, the more vanilla flavor it's going to take on. And because it's liquor, it's going to last forever. It's not really going to be um, a shelf life on it as far as it going rancid or something. But what we're going to do is when it gets done, this one here. This one has actually been right at a year. And this one, I took the lazy way out. I didn't even get a jar and pour it full. I literally just cut my beans and dropped them down into this bottle of vodka about a year ago and left it. And then about every week, I, I just do this. But what I wanted to show you is I'm going to take some out. I'm just going to put it in one of these little containers so that it's easy for me to have ready for baking. Pour some in here. Now my extract is ready for me to use, but all I have to do, this is why this is so great. So now this here, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more jars real quick for myself because I'm going to use this now do do about three jars right now you could put these in something that pours a little better for measuring i kind of like having a bigger a bigger opening at the top of a jar that i use because i can just kind of dip my um tablespoon teaspoon whatever down in there in it Okay, so now what I can do is I can take this that's already ready, it's been ready, um, and refill it the rest of the way with new vodka. And I don't have to wait as long for this one to finish. It's going to finish faster because it already has that vanilla flavor to it, but still I want it to sit for at least a couple of months with that new um, liquor in there with it. So I'm gonna put this back in my cabinet, keep doing what I've been doing. In the meantime, I'm gonna use these that I filled up. In a few months when I need to get some more, I'll get it out of here. And then in about six months, this one will be ready to start using. And I can just do the same thing with it. That's it. That's how easy it is to make homemade vanilla extract. It is, you know, when I first thought, okay, I want to buy the expensive stuff, but we can't really afford it all the time. Can I make it? How hard is it? And when I first made it, I, I guess probably about four or five years ago now would be the first time I made it. I thought, I don't know why I did not make this a lot sooner because it is so easy. Well, thank you all for watching. and. We'll be back in another video soon. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like these videos, please do subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.